are almost the end of kind of a crazy week. We've had Sadie home from school because she has this horrible, horrible cough that we can't really send her to school with. Patch had his last day of preschool today and that is finally totally done, which is kind of nice because right now I was dropping Tessie off, going back to get Patch, which is like 30 miles away, then going back to get Tessie. So that was like 60 miles of driving that is now out of my schedule. And today we registered James for preschool and we'll find out in September if James is gonna get into a full day preschool or half day. So, today, there's a lot going on today and I'm gonna take you guys along with us for that preschool intake appointment and all sorts of other stuff. So, <laughs> and I'm talking right now because I realized that in the hustle and bustle of the day, I didn't really talk along the way. So I thought I'd do a little intro, which I don't usually do, but hey, today is kind of a different day. I, it's my surgery prep day and I realized that all day long my mind was on that. Let you bleach your hair. Is be. this a bleach one? Yeah, but we just wouldn't use the bleach, we just use the dye. And I'm not saying yes, a 10 wash, so it's semi permanent. Yeah, we would just wouldn't bleach it. It just wouldn't be that bright because your hair to be brick red. Brick red. You say that about everything. What do you have in your hands? Band aids and What's that in your other hand? <gasps> Spider-Man chapstick? Also, look at Mickey Mouse. Look at these things with weird hair. They're almost like trolls. The troll that flips for you? And also that. And also James. Gosh, can you turn around and I'll take your picture real quick? He had a good day. <gasps> she throws back her drink. Yep. <gasps> you gonna get in the car? You gonna help her? Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. What would daddy say? Day. I think we need a lipstick tutorial. Hey, can I wear it? Can I wear my makeup? Uh oh. Can I wear your makeup? Uh oh. Can I try it on, Sadie? Sir. We're gonna go home and have some lunch. Do you guys want corn dogs? Uh, With strawberries? Strawberries. Yes. Uh, okay, cotton candy's not gonna be lunch. Why? Why? Yeah. Nana and a bunch of fruit, huh? Oh. Quesadillas? Say Nana. You've been saying Nana all day. Can you say it again?
like this needs a disclaimer. It was, it did end up that it wasn't that I'm just a total and complete failure with the lawnmower. It's that there was a piece of twine wrapped around a part of the lawnmower and that's why it kept turning it off. So I guess if your lawnmower turns off four times, figure out why. I know, just like keep restarting it and hopefully it's not like actually hurt because that's a fairly new lawnmower. We got it for like Father's Day last year. Anyways, so that's that little disclaimer. I know the kids are all sitting over there. I can hear the little voices like, does mom know what she's doing? Does mom even know how to start a lawnmower? Thanks guys. He's tasted freedom. Yeah, why don't you put on some cooler clothes because you're wearing a turtle? The, you told those guys nah, huh? Mm. What animal made that sound? <laughs> what animal made that disgusting sound? Uh, uh, no way! <laughs> yes! Dude! Take my mind for this cup. <laughs> oh, that was a really I, big jump! I said my mind for this cup. Downstairs. Okay. I thought that's what you were looking for. You told me you wanted a frog. Not that frog? Okay, we can give that frog to Tess if that wasn't the right frog. And now for the part of the day that I have been dreading for weeks and weeks. I'm not sure you guys can hear me. Oh, for the kids. Paul is actually home from work before like 7 o'clock at night for the first time in ages because of this. And I'm not even going to be able to hang out. And he leaves like he leaves at like 6.30 every single morning. And he maybe like gets home at, I don't know, like... He's running his own business, and it's growing, and it's a good thing, but yeah, it's intense. And, okay guys, so, the procedure I'm having done, I don't know, I know I've mentioned it in other posts, but I don't think I've mentioned it today, it is an upper and lower endoscopy, which is, Sadie asked what it was, and I explained it to Sadie, and she laughed hysterically for like 10 minutes. And then she asked if she could tell James. Go, 
And I didn't let her tell Patrick because Patrick preschool. So after, so basically, let's just talk about that bread endoscopy, which is basically they're going to take a little camera and put it down my throat after they put me to sleep to look at my esophagus and my stomach and all of that and see if there's anything going on. A lower endoscopy is basically a colonoscopy, which most people probably know what that is. I'm not gonna really get into that. I'm dreading it. That looks more like what's going on with my gut, I guess, and that is why I have to drink this, half of this tonight and half of this in the middle of the night, tomorrow morning, early morning hours. And that's why I haven't been allowed to eat anything that isn't clear liquid tonight. Sorry, they're going in and out the door and I keep looking to see who it is. Maggie's back. She's been outside playing in the backyard. This. Paul's finally mowing the lawn. Yes. I knew if I mowed that little part of the front yard, it would be like super extra motivation. I was really planning on doing the whole entire yard, but then once the lawn, like, I was hoping he would come home and like I'd have the whole front yard done, but then when it broke down four times, I figured that he would be super motivated to like finish it because he saw that I tried to do it. He has no idea how hard I actually tried to do it. <laughs> Such a failure. Anyways, yeah, so now we begin the prep and. I've heard people say it's horrible, but I've also heard people say that the anticipation of how horrible it is actually is. And that's my cue. She needs me. I'll talk to you guys later. This may be me signing off for the night, depending on how horrible this actually is. So, bye. I don't have lights or anything on like I usually do. I have everything they said that I need here in my bag. This says I needed Dolcolax, which they had me take it now. I need to put a lot in here actually. Okay. Um, I need one bottle of magnesium citrate, and I wasn't sure what flavor I would feel like, so I got two because they were 98 cents. I got cherry and lemon. I already feel sick. I haven't done anything. I think it's like the stress. Seriously, it's like the, the mental stress of like, what I know is about to happen. You are to be on a clear liquid diet all day long. Yes, this starts at 12 a.m. when you wake up in the morning or when you wake up in the morning. No solid food. Drink eight ounces clear liquids hourly throughout the entire day. Take all other medications as usual, but with not within two hours of your go lightly. At 12 noon, take one Dolcolex. Do not crush or chew. At 6 p.m., mix with one gallon of water. Drink half of mixture eight ounces every 10 to 15 minutes total eight glasses you must finish drinking within one and a half hours or it will not work continue drinking eight ounce liquids throughout the evening it is not unusual to have nausea or vomiting from this laxative if this occurs stop drinking the laxative suck on hard candy or mints and resume drink drinking one hour later you don't want to know what it says after that Six hours before the procedure, which is 4 a.m., rem drink remaining half of Go Lightly. Eight ounces every 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, gone. So starting with eight ounces. Eight ounces every 10 minutes. <laughs> I seriously feel ill. I really, I already super mixed it, but. I may be watching YouTube videos that are not graphic about endoscopies. We'll start with upper endoscopies because I feel like that's going to be the less traumatic part. Lower endoscopy. Not feeling good right about that. Oh, you guys, it had to be lukewarm water, it said. That makes this even more special. Drinking lukewarm water. So, okay, I'm gonna change this. I'm putting Maggie's iPad into the wall so my phone can charge. We're totally gonna try to bribe Maggie with her iPad tonight because Maggie, like, mommy Maggie time is super, super important at night, and I don't know how much mommy Maggie time is gonna happen tonight. I usually don't have a problem with drinking, like, warmer liquids, but this is, like, warm and kind of thickish, and it's kind of, it's gross. It's grosser than I expected it to be. I don't think it would be bad if it was able to be cold. 
Maybe you should have made it earlier. It said to make it right then, though. That's why I listened to the instructions on the thing. I can't believe I'm vlogging right now. I know the light's not great in here. Uh, I wonder if it would be better if I... Anyways, I can't believe I'm vlogging right now. I did it. So basically, I just completed my colonoscopy prep and I am, well no, I completed the nighttime part of my colonoscopy prep which involved drinking eight cups of the mixture, the prescription mixture <laughs> that my GI doctor had me get and it tasted like, it had like a lemon mix-in packet that I put in and filled it with a gallon of water and I drank half of it which was eight eight ounce cups, so 64 ounces and I definitely didn't make it entirely under the hour and a half because if I had it would have made me throw up because it was making me super super nauseous but I made it in pretty good time close to that <coughs> that part's over I have to do it again at like four in the morning I have to wake up and do that whole entire thing a second time which I'm not looking forward to but it'll be nice when it's just totally totally over and the like actual drink to me it tasted like okay so the, it's said to mix it with lukewarm water so and the lemon flavor and the texture of the drink because of the stuff that's in it that makes you have to go to the bathroom. To me it tasted like a thick Metamucil version of, oh, thick Metamucil lukewarm version of 7-Up. So like if it had been cold and not thick it would have been okay kind of sickly sweet, extra sickly sweet maybe, <coughs> but like the texture of it and thickness and <coughs> warmth all together make it kind of horrible. Like the first drink, not so bad, but by the second it's pretty horrible and by the eighth you're like kind of gagging. But I mean, I did it and I'm sitting here right now, I'll probably <laughs> be making like another 15 trips to the bathroom. But. Anyways, and yeah, after like the second or third drink, you start making frequent, frequent trips to the bathroom. So that's how it works. That's what the colonoscopy prep is like. I know people said it wasn't as bad as they thought. I don't, I think it was like right around as bad as I thought. Like, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not like fun. <laughs> Anyways, that is all. Can I watch Dr. Quinn? Yeah, you can. I found it. Oh, <laughs> You saw it. Okay. And that's pretty much it for tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be up bright and early. 4 a.m. I'm like shuddering just thinking about it. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. I promise that after this colonoscopy, I hope to never ever be vlogging about another colonoscopy again. Oh my gosh. And. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <coughs>